Welcome to Jackal Digital. I'm Simon and today we'll be finishing up our watch face by installing it to our Mi Band. Yay! As you can see, I've made a bunch of different color variations. And I also followed my own advice by making the background the first image, followed by the numbers, the battery, the icons. Then I made 14 copies of 1x1 one one pixel artboard and all of them have something small inside. I just put a line because if I didn't, it wouldn't export. And then I ended it with days. So if I just show you how to do this quickly, I'll just use red color and instead of white, I'll choose like a little bit reddish, something like this. Then I select the three colors. Go into new color group. Okay, now I have it. Then I select the elements that I'll be changing. Go to edit, edit colors, recolor, and I select the ones I just have. Now this is in the order that I want, so I just swap the colors between, and it's as simple as that. Then I just go to scripts, find the script that I've shown you last time, export for screens, and then now we have a new watch face. This won't compile, it shows that the file size is too big. But if I open this in paint, and just press Ctrl S to save it, and I'll compile it, we do have our beam file. So the first thing that we need to do, if we haven't already, is to install the MiFi app on our phone and sync it with the Mi Band. Then the next thing that we need to do, if we want to keep things simple, and we do, is to install the Mi Band 4 watch face app, which we will use to install custom watch faces. Now that we have both apps installed, we have to get the beam file to our phone. We can achieve this multiple ways. And the easiest way is by connecting our phone to the PC and copying the file. So I will just take this red one, which I didn't upload yet. I'll copy it over and you have to copy it to the internal storage. Otherwise, the file won't be found. If you can't connect your phone to a PC, you can still use the internet, either email or other sharing services to get your file to your phone. Whichever way you choose, just make sure that the file is on the internal phone storage and not the SD card. So now that we have our file on the phone, we have to open the Mi Band 4 app and do the following. You can either choose one of the watch faces here or if you have your own, click on the menu on the bottom left, choose install on watch face, select the choose bin file, search for the bin file that you have on your phone, I'll select this red one that I just made, and select add watch face to MiFit. After that, click on the open MiFit button. Now you have to go to your profile, which is on the bottom right. Enable the Bluetooth if you don't have it already, otherwise you won't be able to do the next step. Choose the Miss Smart Band. Go to Band Display Settings. And the instructions suggested that you sync with this top left watch face, but you can use any watch face that you don't like, because we tell the Mi Band which watch face we will sync with. But because we chose a custom watch face file before, we trick the Mi Band into thinking that we are syncing to the watch face that we have just selected. In my case, I already have this watch face installed, so I can just go to My Band Displays, click on this watch face, and select Sync Watch Face. Now in a moment you should see that the Mi Band is now syncing, with a green icon. Depending on the watch face size, the syncing process can take up to a minute. And after the syncing is done, we should see our very own watch face. Now how cool is that? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 11. 
and we should definitely give ourselves a pat on the back. With our awesome watch face now installed, this mini trick for a series is coming to an end. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, leave a comment or a link to your own watch face. And until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.